Hey everyone, in today's Zoom meeting, I wanna show you one of the biggest updates that I think Zoom has ever rolled out, and that's the ability to control someone else's screen remotely. Not just screen sharing, but actually go on their computer remotely and move things around and leave notes and things like that on their screen. It's really cool, let me show you how to use it. And since it requires screen sharing, let me just show you this because some people typically have a problem if this is not set up. But go to Zoom's website here and then go to the settings. If you click this and go to settings, I'm going to come over here under the settings tab and then just go to in meeting basic right here. And you just need to make sure if I scroll down here to screen sharing that uh, all participants could share their screen here. So instead of host, which I think by default is just host only could share their screen. I wanna make sure all participants could do it because I'm gonna ask a participant here to share their screen so I could then take over their screen remotely. Okay, so once you do that, then you start your meeting. So let me go to Zoom here. Let me press go back to meeting. I've already started a meeting, but if you haven't, go ahead and start a meeting here or go ahead and join an existing meeting. So let me go back to one. So here's a meeting just with one other person here. And what I'm gonna do here is, you see down here, I could share my screen. Also that option, that advanced setting over here is available here to change it to all participants. And if this is grayed out for you, that means you have to change it on the Zoom website first. So make sure this looks like mine here. I'm the host of the meeting. I'm gonna ask Jordan here to share his screen, okay? So I need to look at their screen and then I'm gonna ask permission to take over their screen or remotely access their screen. So they just press share screen on their computer and they're sharing this web page with me here. Okay, so how can I take over their screen now? I could see everything they're gonna do on the screen, but there's a view option on top right here. It says view option, click this. And you have all the typical view options like annotating on the screen, which lets you kind of write things on the screen that you can both see. But look at this option, request remote control. If you click this, it says, request remote control from that person's screen. So you have to press request and they have to approve that. You can't just do this without permission. So press request. And right now, if I click here, it says you are controlling Jordan's screen. So this is Jordan's screen and look at this. This is my mouse and this is what they're seeing too on their screen. This is their computer, not mine. And I could click on anything. I could open this, I could annotate it. So this is a great way, for example, to teach someone remotely and actually have control over what they're looking at rather than they control the mouse. I could even, if they shared their whole desktop, when they press share, they get a few options. They could share just one window like this or their whole desktop. If they share their whole desktop, I could even move things around and access their hard drive here and open up pretty much anything I want. I just can't see their Zoom app though. The Zoom app right now is behind here, but it won't let me see their Zoom app, but it will show me other applications and other web pages and everything else, and I could click away. And if you press this view option again here, I could use my keyboard layout or their keyboard layout. So if you're showing something technical, maybe you wanna have their layout on their keyboard. It's a little bit confusing though, so I usually just leave it here. And you could still annotate. So you could choose annotate, and then you have the mouse pointer here and you could you know, have arrows like this. So I could say, let's read this right now and look at that. It's gonna say my name and arrow to what, and they're looking at the same exact thing I am and I still have control over what they're doing on their computer. When I'm done, I could stop the remote control. Now they're back, although anytime if they move their mouse, this is their mouse, this is mine, they could get access as well. So you could actually share access just because I had control doesn't mean they can't do anything. We could both do it at the same time. It will just switch between who's controlling the screen. But I usually just you know take turns on who's controlling the screen and then turn off the control when I don't need it. And anytime you could ask the participants to stop sharing their screen too. And then when you're done, just end the meeting down here. And it's that simple to control someone else's screen on Zoom inside of a screen share session. I hope you found this useful. Make sure you subscribe for easy to follow tutorials. I have dozens of videos on Zoom and other video conferencing platforms too you could check out. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.